This here is a placeholder. Someone's helping me make a theme song. It's not ready yet. So I'm singing into my phone in a second or two. The video starts. Woo woo. Hi, welcome to another cocktail kitchen. Today we are going to go south of the border. Ooh, some of you might be thinking it's time for a margarita. It's not. We're gonna go further south than that. Today we're gonna to make a Pisco Sour. What's Pisco, some of you might be asking. Wasn't he a cast member on Saturday Night Live in the mid 80s? You're thinking of Joe Piscopo. But I will explain, Pisco is a Peruvian and sometimes Chilean brandy. It is delicious. It is slightly sweeter than some other brandies you may have had before. Pisco has to be made with actual wine. Uh, a lot of brandies, there's a few like cognac and a couple others that also have to be made with wine, but some brandies actually are made with the remnants of the winemaking process, not Pisco. It has to be made with wine and typically it's made with a sweet grape varietal. So uh, like a Muscat grape, for instance, which is why it has a nice sweet flavor. Now, if you don't have Pisco in your cupboard, which I did tell you a couple weeks ago to get, uh, but if you don't have it yet, you can still play along today. You can substitute, it won't be the same, but it should produce a good drink. You can substitute the Pisco for, I believe the order of preference was grappa, uh, a white tequila, or cachaca, which you might also know from the Caparino. So uh, you can do any of those, but try the drink again once you get the Pisco in house. Anyway, this is a drink that is very exciting. It's gonna be kind of old fashioned in a way because it involves egg white. I won't get ahead of myself. We'll talk about that in a second. I've got ice already in my shaker. I've got lime juice ready, my egg white, uh, sugar syrup, keep rolling. I'm gonna run to the fridge. Over here, I'm getting it. Okay, I've got my sugar syrup, it was in the fridge. So, <laughs> sugar syrup. And I've also got Angostura bitter, uh, bitters out, so those are ready to go as well. This is gonna be heavy on the Pisco. We're gonna pour two shots of Pisco. That is 60 ounces for me. I'm only making one today because my wife doesn't want one yet. Okay, she's gonna have hers later. So uh, that's two shots of Pisco. We are going to do just under a shot of lime juice, so about 20, 25, 26 mils. I just go right under the 30 mil line and, and drop that in. And then we're gonna do the same for the sugar syrup. The Pisco is actually, Pisco Sour that we're making, is actually made uh, by an American when visiting Peru. So that's one example, at least right now, that we have of Americans bringing something positive to the rest of the world, the Pisco Sour. So that was just under a shot of lime, just under a shot of sugar syrup into our Pisco Sour. Now, a lot of recipes call for a whole egg white. Here's the thing. I think you can make two Pisco Sours out of a whole egg white. So you could make two using the same egg white. You don't actually need that much egg white in it. Maybe like half a shot of egg white. So I'm just gonna pour a bit of my egg white in there. Right, and the Angostura bitters is gonna come in just a second. Now, fascinating process, this. The egg white needs to get whipped up to be frothy. We're gonna do what's called a reverse shake. Some recipes call for you to dry shake the uh, Pisco Sour first and then add ice. We're gonna do the reverse shake, uh, reverse dry shake, which is putting it all together with the ice and then worrying about frothing it after. So don't forget, Get all your rage out now. Oh, what am I mad about today? Ugh! Wear face masks in public, you meatballs. Why is it that hard? You're gonna go out of your house and put it on. We're living in a time of pandemic. Come on, man. All right, so now that is cold. What we're gonna do now is get rid of the ice. So I'm gonna strain the Pisco Sour back into my shaker. Now I'm gonna say Arrivederci Ice. Pour that into that bowl there. And now you're going to do the process of the dry shake. I mean, obviously it's still very, very wet, but it doesn't have ice. That's why we call it a dry shake. Okie dokie, and away we go. I'm, I'm already feeling better about everything. And to be honest, with this, you wanna keep shaking this for like a minute. 
You want to get it really, really, really frothy. You want it to look like um, like a cappuccino almost when you're done with it. Oh, P.S. If you don't want to use egg in this drink, if you are turned off by that idea, you can use something called aquafaba, which is basically the leftover juice in a garbanzo bean or chickpea can. A lot of vegans use it as a substitute for egg white. Uh, it's used in meringues and everything. Some people even prefer it in the cocktail. With aquafaba, you can't really buy it independently. You have to buy it, get it from the tin. But the good news is you can keep aquafaba around for about a week or you can freeze it. So when you're making your hummus at home or your tagines or whatever, keep that aquafaba around if you don't like using egg whites. Okay, now hopefully this will be lovely and frothy. We're gonna pour that in there. I could have shaken that a little longer, but we are getting, oh, look at that. You don't even, I don't even need the strainer because the ice isn't in there. I don't even want, it's just a habit to use the strain, strainer. But now, look at that beautiful frothy drink. Frothy, how many times can I say frothy in one cocktail recipe? Let's go for another frothy. And what you're gonna do is take a couple little drops of the Angostura bitters, just a couple little ones, Ugh, so careful. Just like that, one, two. Okay, and then what you're allowed to do is like uh, barista art, like drag that, or I can't, I can't do, sh I can't do shit with this. <laughs> I can't, I can't, look, what I've done is I've basically given this drink a birthmark, but it still looks kind of nice. Like if you, if you look, if you look at it, I'm not an artist, I'm a bartender. This is the Pisco Sour. Uh, if you're watching from America, happy 4th of... Uh, it's been so long, I have, I have had to say it. If you're watching from America, happy 4th of July weekend. Play it safe out there, kids. Cheers.